Hello my pinky pals, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today we're going to be looking at something that's kind of exciting for me. It's actually the first proof of my drum roll, Do -do 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 -do. color book. There it is. And it's very hard to see. I apologize. The lighting is a little bit wonky, uh, but I am doing a kawaii mandala coloring book. I have done a bunch of kawaii mandalas, like so many, it's kind of unreal. And I just really wanted to put them all together and create a book. So I did one of two things. First, I did kind of just an assortment of a bunch of different random ones that I liked. But, I don't know, as I was turning through it, I just kind of was like, it felt a little disjointed. There was no real theme, and the kind of, I mean, the point was to not have a theme, but I wanted a theme. So then it was kind of like I needed to change it up a bit. So this is the first because I just wanted to kind of show you the process. Essentially, I created the coloring book. I paid for a proof. You have to pay for it. And there were some little like glitches, so I did look at the certain things that need to be fixed. It ended up the, the things that need to be fixed were on mandalas I didn't keep in the book anyway. But yeah, so they send you the book, you'll go through it, make sure you like it, and then that's it. Either you like it or you don't. So in this case, I didn't like it, so I ended up taking it and there you go, you can see the ones in the front, and changing it up a bit. So I ended up giving it bit of a theme. There were some too that I found just didn't print very well and I know that when I made them the the quality wasn't as great. Not so much the quality I guess, the sizing. The sizing for printing wouldn't have been as good. So I just didn't. There also is like two extra pages in both I think and I don't, I, um, I'm assuming that is for page count whenever they're binding it. I don't really know but it's there. So yeah. This is what it started out with, and it does end up being quite a bit different. I end up going with what, I guess, I, um, I want to say it's like a seasonal kind of a theme. So it has like, hmm, it's got the seasons, but also some holidays, so I guess I'm a bit of a liar. But <laughs> I was very excited, and even just to have my own book out there I thought was really cool. I just really like the idea of having them. I did for the longest time. I had these free on my website for a very long time. And I just kind of thought, I don't know, I'll compile them all, put them in a book, and kind of go from there. But that's it, and let's go to the one we actually kind of stay with. <laughs> Hello, my pinky pals. Oh. I like the sound of that. Uh, today I'm going to show you the hopefully final proof of my coloring book. So you saw the first proof before. Oh, it came. It's backwards. Well, that's less. Ta-da! Nope. Oh, wait, wait. Sorry. Ta-da! You can't really see it because the light is reflecting because it's shiny, but here it is. Here it is. Um, let's see if it's better if you can see it up close. So, Medallas, Kawaii Medallas, Volume 1 by Doodles with Pinky, which is me! I've been wanting to do this for years. And I, I kind of had the idea from when I started my mandalas, but I just never did them. And then somebody else actually in one of the, in, uh, the Kawaii Drawing uh, Club, Cynthia, she posted one. Um, a little while ago now, I guess. And I was just like, okay, look, she just did it. And I've got all of these mandalas sitting here that I could do it with and I didn't do it. So let's just do it. So I did it. And this one is a little bit more like seasoned themed. I tried to uh, do a season or, or, or a, a, and I, a, I can speak. I really, I swear I can. I tried to do like a theme. So yeah. My first book you saw, it kind of was all over the place, and I kind of wanted that idea as well, but then I changed my mind. Anyway, so this is going to be on Amazon. That's really the only way I can do any books, so if you do purchase it to support me, I really appreciate it. I have some other ideas as well, but so far, this is the first one, so let's just get into it. Oh, it kind of folds really nice, actually. 
that's a that's a nice okay um so i just you know i thank you for purchasing my mandala is the first page i should have maybe done some color here but that's fine and then each page just has like this blank little heart design behind it so that you can color it without worrying about the other page so very first one is of course the one that's on the front of the book so you can do that and let's keep going and then i kind of went by the seeds and i guess like this is either like it's either a season or a holiday kind of thing so kind of like a new year's theme with some lanterns and some are obviously harder than others they're a little bit different that light is really strong so i apologize <laughs> but there we go and then some fireworks for like new year's and then we get into like Valentine's Day with some cute little little love bears. And then these ones, like I love this one because it's like um like you know the female and the male bear, but there's also two boys and two girls because love is love, guys. Love is love, and I love that. I think that's really cute. And then the next one is also a love one. This one is just love. I love it. It's so cute. There's a lot of detail on this one though. This one's kind of harder. I tried to pick some that were a lot more detailed and then some that were easier. I like the way this is creasing. It's actually really nice. Then we have the leprechauns, which I think are really cute. And then we have what's next, which is also in March is like International Women's Day. And I just thought that was really a really cool idea so it's literally like women and I drew them based off of either the image that we have or just kind of what I thought maybe they look like based on the descriptions and then what they've like invented or discovered and like it's kind of crazy to think that like there women invented a lot of these things like I mean the bra makes sense right but then like the aquarium and there's certain meteors and the globe and building blocks and paper bags things like that it's really cool then we're getting into like spring with the little lambs, which I thought were really cute. And then of course Easter, which we're celebrating as I'm filming this uh, with the cute little bunnies. And that one is also quite intricate. The closer it is, obviously it gets that way. I love this one. So it's like April showers and the May flowers. I love this one because it has a bit of a mandala a, a more traditional, I should say, mandala look with the leaves and stuff, which I thought was really cool. And then, of course, the bees, because where would we be without the bees? I thought that was really cute. And I love the little queen bee in there. She's being, like, worshipped by all the male bees. And then, of course, we have some, like, Easter bunny. Uh, not really even, just spring gnomes, which I thought would be cute. And now we're getting more into the summer with our little... Oh, I just realized that I, I'm creasing this in the wrong spot. Ugh. Well, now I've ruined my own book, I think. That's okay. Um, but there are the little ducks. I mean, we all know I love my ducks, so that had to be in there. And then just this little, like, summer girl, which I thought was really cute. I am like the most proud of this mandala. Drawing a bike is hard enough. Drawing something riding a bike is even harder. And I think I just really kind of nailed it with this. I love this one. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one that loves it, but I think it's beautiful. So, of course, it's in there. <sighs> We're heading into fall with the apple orchard. And there's little fairies in there as well. I thought that one was really a good one. That's a lot more intricate as well. And then, of course, the little scarecrow. Oh, that was really cute. And the, the crows, of course, are adorable as well. And then I really, I, I'm going to try and push this one up as well because I actually really, really love this one. You can see, like, the little designs within the leaves. You can see that. You can see it. I just think that's so pretty. I, I worked really hard on that one. And I think it turned out amazing. And of course, what is fall without a Halloween one? And this is like, this is probably the hardest mandala in the whole book just due to 
the sizing and the amount of stuff I shoved in there. I really wanted a lot. This one is for a shout out to my nephew who loves trains and he loves to create like stories around trains. And he has a train that is 311 and it is like a haunted train. Um, I love him. And he's the reason I started to create mandalas in the first place. It's because he wanted to draw them. So I had to, like 100% had to put a train in my first book. So here is 311 for my little man. Who's not little, but he is in my mind. And then of course, a little witch with her little cat and then just flying through the air. I actually just really like that one too. I love the look on the cat's face. We're getting into winter now with the Yeti. We've got little snowmen and little polar bears. I love the like um, thermometer. I think that's cute too. And then of course the snowmen. I love this one as well. I think it just looks so magical with all the snowmen in there. This is like the bird's eye view of a tree. So if you think about like, you know, looking down on the tree, you would see each layer. So then each layer has its own little, little creations, little bulbs. You can see the star right at the center. I just thought it was a really cool idea. I remember making this and thinking like, Alicia, you've hit like idea gold mine. That's perfect. And then I called this one birds on a wire because they're birds and they're on the wire, but it's very Christmassy. And I love the little, uh, the wreath as well. And that's it. That's it. They do put some extra white papers in here. I don't quite know why, but they do. Then of course the back and it has like my, oh, it's so shiny. I got the shiny one cause I just thought you have to. It has pictures of like, the ones that I've already, I mean, I've colored all of them digitally, but here's one, here's another. And then we have two more that I've colored and I'm in love. I love it. Of course, it's got my, my link and then it's got like a little barcode. I'm so happy with this. I really, really, really wanted to get this out for you guys. And hopefully I, I really hope that you like it. If you do, I will put the link in the description because you will be able to pre-order it of course it is coming out i believe april 15th is the date that i have it for and i'm you know i don't want to I don't, i'm not wanting to toot my own horn a lot but i really wanted to do this and i'm really proud of myself for getting it done so you know it just kind of goes to show to if if you want to do something 90% of you not doing it, I think is yourself holding you back. And at the end of the day, you know, as far as we know, we only have this one. So let's get this life the way we want it to be. And I want it to be full of cute kawaii-ness and love and happiness and all of the things that are good, you know? And part of that was, for my journey anyway, creating this. So we will color it. I am going to color this whole book, whether you guys are going to be with me on the journey or not. So I hope that you will be, but yeah, let me know in the comment section below, which one do you want to start with? Or we can just start at the beginning and go from there. That might be a good idea. Or, you know, let me know if you don't even want to see this. If you're like, no, Alicia, I don't need to see you coloring your stuff. Let me know. That's totally fine as well. But I really would love to do it with you guys. So anyway, that is, that's it. That's that. That's all I came on here with me today. That's what I've got for you today. I am on vacation when this video comes out. So I will be just chilling. And I hope that you are also having a great week. And just... You know what? Um, thank you because without without you guys and without those who comment and like and leave me messages telling me that you know they love my art, I I probably never would have done this. So thank you guys. I really appreciate you. And that's that's it. That's all I had to say. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.